OTP Advanced Settings, an excerpt from Cliff Kerrigan's Organic Traffic Platform. True Internet Marketing Automation has arrived. Now we've got this little gear icon over here. This is for settings, this is for some advanced settings. Now when you click that, it opens up and you'll see those options there on your screen. Now this is, you highlight any of these that you want to skip. Okay, so we'll, we'll just say that you just ran the program, you just did a little test, and you did it for 200 posts, or 2,000 or 20,000 posts. And now you want to run it on that again. Or you came back later, you know, you used the save function that we, that we were talking about a couple minutes ago. You save this. Now you've come back a day, a week, a month, a year later, whatever. You just came back to it. You reloaded this campaign. Well, there's some things that we can skip. Your choice, if you want to create more authors for this run so that, so that Google thinks you, you have some turnover in your organization, that's fine. Create more because it'll do it not only through those authors that you create, but also your existing. So that doesn't hurt at all. Categories. Now this thing creates... Every, a category, it, crea it auto-creates all of the categories for you, and it does this based on the language that you selected, right? So if you select English, it's going to create an English category. Spanish is going to create a Spanish category, and so on. Okay, so actually what it does is it creates a, a, a language category for all 104 languages so that it's already there. Because when, when this gets listed in the search engine, and the software does that for you too, it it's, does your, your permalink settings. But when it's listed in the search engines, it would be yourdomain.com slash English or French or Spanish slash your title, right? Because we are just feeding Google all the wholesome goodness we can. So we want them to know that, okay, this is my domain. This is the language we're speaking in, and here's the page, right? Which is which is keywords, so a beautiful thing. Anyways, if you've, if you've already created all of the categories, well, then you could just click that because you don't need to create the categories again. They're already there. It's not going to hurt anything if you do, but there's really no need. You know, you could save yourself that step. Uh, find URLs. Let's just say that f for some reason you already have your own list of URLs that you want to use for the content that, that you're about to create running this software. Now, obviously, the software, it'll, it'll find the, the top URLs for you. But I will just say that you have some special reason why you have your own list of URLs that you want to use. Well, then you just tell it, skip this. And the same thing with scrape new content. It, it's just say that for, you know, you've got a bunch of specific content you want to use for some reason. Well, you could put that content in the folder and tell it, okay, don't scrape any new content. Spin new content. Well, that's just what it sounds like. It's taking your, the content that you've got, and instead of spinning it into, uh, you know, all these different articles to use as pages and posts, it's just skipping that part. So, under most circumstances, you would never want to uh, skip these. But you can. That's what's important is the fact that you can, even though in, under normal circumstances you never would. Install plugins. Okay, well, obviously when this software is going and, it, and it's converting your, your bare WordPress blog into a, a, a full-on, full-scale traffic platform, well, it's going to install some special plugins that we've had made for this. Okay, and, it, and it's going to set the permalinks and stuff like that. But if all that stuff's already there, it's already set, this is a blog, once again, that you are revisiting to do more to, well, then you can skip that. And you can uh, skip the translations. Again, I would not recommend that. Why bother? You know, yeah, it adds a, a couple of minutes to the overall process, but, man, let it do its thing. So... That's, that's our first set of options that we have on these, on these advanced settings. And then so you've done whatever and you tell it okay. Now this, set transport delay. All right, this is working hand in hand in your actual traffic network itself. So what's happening is this page, your, your blog pages are going to auto redirect, right? 
So you can set this to any number you want. If you want it to redirect right away, you could set it to zero. It, I have it defaulted on seven seconds because that gives Google time. If Google hits that page, that gives them time to uh, tr you know, truly absorb all of my content that I have there and pull any extra links and so on. That gives them plenty of time for that. But if I didn't, if I didn't want this thing to uh, transport, I might set that to, you know, say 9,000. I said transform, I meant transport. I might set that to 9,000 seconds or whatever. That way it, it doesn't, you know, just auto re, uh, redirect very quickly. It just stays there for a long period of time. And that, um, depending on how you do your PBNs, might be useful, which there's a PBN part of this, and we'll get to that after a while. But anyways, you just tell it, yep, I like that. Let's just leave it as that is. So you came in, you took out some stuff that you're saying, yeah, I'd like to skip all this, blah, blah, blah. Did that, you're saying, yeah, I don't want the time here. Now we got even more options. So now we can go over here to tools. Now you see the license registration, that's default. You don't need to screw with that. It's going to, it's going to tell you if you need to do that. If you don't have a license set up in your system, then it's going to run through that for you. But now here's what we've got. Now we've got a PBN URL set generator. Let me skip that for now. All right, advanced redirect option. That's that same transport thing that we just seen in the other screen. That's the same thing because you may not want to be skipping any steps, blah, 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 but you do want to change uh, your redirect time. So you could just come in, click that, and do that there. So it's the same screen. Now, upload delay. Some people, some people there, if they have a really low level host or something like that, uh, they, they may run into trouble because this thing is, is uploading all of these files, of course, into WordPress on your, on, you know, at, on your web host provider. So it's doing all this work there. Well, a, a low-level web host, they may have you know, some sort of crazy limits on you where it says, oh, you can only do you know, X many uploads per X many minutes, whatever. Right? So if you run into that, you're probably not going to understand why it's not working right. You'll end up in touch with support. They'll walk through to determine if that's the case. But in any event, you can go ahead and if you find yourself in that situation, then you could, you know, change this to 10 seconds or 30 seconds or two minutes, whatever, right? Because when it doesn't upload, it's uploading in batches of around 200. So it would, if you set this for 30 seconds, right, and you ran the program, well, it would upload a batch of, of 200 post page comments and then it would wait 30 seconds and then it would upload another 200, blah, blah, blah. Most people are not going to need this, I, I think, but we have it there just in case, just in case that, you know, you need that uh, option available to you. For more information on this groundbreaking Internet marketing program, click the link in the description below this video.